All right, guys, thought I'd make a video of something you don't see too much. Rooftop tent on the Toyota Camry. You usually see the tents on bigger vehicles like Jeeps and trucks, but we already had the Camry, so figured we might as well make use of it. Still has under 100,000 miles on it, so can't really fathom selling it right now. You know, we'd like a bigger vehicle, but got to do what you got to do. So we threw this awesome Rome Vagabond Light tent on top of it. Uh, we've been traveling s for two weeks straight, sleeping in this thing every night, off-grid, free ca campsites every single night, service every single night. Oh, there's Cricket. He's got a piece of grass. <laughs> yeah, we've been traveling for this two weeks straight now. Tonight is two weeks exactly. We've covered almost 1,300 miles. Um, this tent is awesome. It's perfect for my girlfriend and I. It's very comfortable on the inside. Open it up. Oh. I guess you won't really be able to see a whole lot because it's still dark, but keep our bedding and everything in there. Got our sheets over there and then sleeping bags folded up, but it's got a three inch thick foam mattress in it. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's very comfortable. I love it personally. My girlfriend wants a little bit squishier, but to not be able to keep our bedding in it and have a topper instead in there, not too worth it in my opinion. And I think she's kind of there with me. So we're both kind of sucking it up right now, but we might change it up in the future. It is on a Rhino Rack Euro Bar setup. People totally crap on this rack on the internet for holding a tent, which I understand. It's just the clamp style. Um, people crap on it because of how much space is between the cab and the tent itself. When you're driving, air can just funnel up and push up on top of it. But, you know, we've gone so many miles already and the only thing that has really happened is the inside of the clamp. The little rubber part has moved just a tiny bit, but that's literally it. We've put Loctite on all the bolts and it's been, it's been great. Moving on, got our solar set up. Two Jackery uh, Solar Saga 100 watt portable solar panels. These things are awesome. They just fold up, super easy for storage. Got some little stands on them. And then, excuse the mess of all the wires, I didn't bother taking them out for the video, but got a Jackery 1500. Oh, this is an Explorer 1000 actually, not the 1500, sorry about that. But this battery is super awesome. It allows us to go for at least a couple days on just one charge. Um, and then that charges off the car battery while we're driving, or the solar panels, obviously. But that powers our um, U Homie U Homie fridge. This is a 45 liter fridge, I believe, is what it is. But this stores literally the perfect amount of food for Coral and I. Uh, literally we could survive off of the food that's in here and then our pantry in the trunk all of our dry goods bread ramen coffee couscous cheerios the whole deal can easily survive a week two weeks probably even stretch it to three weeks if we were eating meagerly but that's not really necessary you know got our tub of clothing somehow compiled all of our clothing um into one basket well we got underwear and socks in here but all our main clothing in one somehow did that with a girl i don't know how that's possible but it's awesome that she was able to do that and i literally have like three shirts and like two pairs of shorts so you know doesn't make too much of a difference for me got our pot hatchet granola bars all the goods, um, supplements, tools, and then in back, back there, we got our toilet paper, and then we got a whole bunch more outdoor backpacking stuff. Got my backpack, tent, sleeping pads, and then way back there, we got 
um, our winter clothes, stuff we don't need currently because it is a hundred something degrees every day. Um, and then I've got this little, sorry about his food bowl. He likes dumping it. I don't know what his deal is. Cricket, what are you doing? He's a good little traveling dog. Can you sit? Good boy. <laughs> he's a funny guy. He's perfect for in the car though. We just, we've had him for about two months now and he's been great. I uh, got this lifetime plastic table though. This thing's awesome. It folds up super compact and it's very sturdy. Coleman stove, basic propane. I hate it, but it's what we have currently. It's, it's unbreakable, but could be better. Could have spent a little bit more money there. Water storage. We keep only about seven gallons. I would like to be able to keep more water, but the amount that we're by a river or creek and we can filter water and refill that thing, it's no big deal for just having seven gallons. Cricket's bed is my old pillow, but it's his now. Got a shirt on it to cover it for when I was using it so he wouldn't get it all dirty, but now it's just his. Got some little tiny camping chairs that we got off of Amazon. Two pack is like 40 bucks. These things are so awesome and comfortable. Um, that's basically it though. I can't believe that this is literally, this is literally our lives. Everything you see here is everything we own. And I honestly could not be happier. This is the most beautiful spot ever. In the Sawtooth Range, again, every spot that we've stayed at is completely free. We use the Free Roam app to find all of our campsites. I'm sure the stars here are going to be amazing tonight. People left us a whole bunch of firewood too, so we'll have a fire tonight as well. Everything is awesome. We love it all. Love and life. We're wanting to get a van eventually. You know, traveling out of the Camry is fun and all. And it's nice making use of the things that we've already have. But we both want something a little bit bigger. Something we can sleep inside of, like a vehicle itself, sleep inside of it. Just for the ease of use, being able to sleep in a city and whatnot. It's, it's fun to be able to camp like this, but to have to be forced to camp like this every night it's kind of a pain but you know you get to be places like this as well so it's a 50 50 in a in a bigger vehicle you can still camp in places like this but you can camp in a city and be part of civilization as well all right if you guys like this video be sure to thumbs it up subscribe to me I've posted like one YouTube video before. I'd love to start making more. Um, again, sorry, it's kind of messy. We literally did not organize a single thing for this video, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything, be sure to comment it down, comment it down below. Love to answer it for you guys. Um, that's about it. Just keep on living. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.